know, Andrew, we spoke a little bit about this uh, on the interview in the show, but how, give me some more detail how you think the scandal is gonna affect the mayoral race here in New York City. Right, well, what you've seen already is uh, the, the rivals to, to Christine Quinn, the city council speaker, the front runner in the polls, uh, using the, the city council piece of this scandal, which involves uh, a councilman offering to sell, basically sell uh, taxpayer funds uh, it, in, in using that to go after her, saying she's not managed this body properly, that it's corrupt, and they've, they're proposing these things that they say uh, will uh, rein in the council and will uh, will make this thing less likely. But that has the effect of hurting her. Is it gonna Is it gonna be effective? Do you think? Uh, I think it could be. Uh, it depends whether this thing keeps happening. It depends uh, whether uh, how how well the, her rivals do at, at using this against mm -hmm. her. But you know, by virtue of her position, which is probably she is of the of the people running, she has the most power. Mm -hmm. So she has she that that's you know with great power comes great responsibility, that's right. right? So she can. Um, and she's got more to lose. She's got she's a lot more to lose, exactly. Yeah. Jerry, what do you think? Uh, well, I think, you know, just we've also seen uh, on the other side, Adolfo Carrion, the former Bronx Borough president, making some hay out of this. He needed the permission of county chairs to join the Republican line. Right. He was denied that, and he sort of dismissed it by saying, well, this process was tainted by the, the Malcolm Smith right, allegation. Yeah. So people will make hay out of it. I think a big question is, what are the dimensions of the scandal? Do we know the parameters of it now, or are, as we've suspected for the past you know, several days, are more dominoes going to fall? Um, you know, if, if other people are implicated uh, in the, the scandals or related scandals and those get closer to some of the candidates, then I think that changes, yeah. you know, changes the, the contours of the debate. And, and how about Governor Cuomo? Do we know yet, is there enough information to, to make a guess as to how the scandals are likely to affect his political future? Well, you know, he's had this narrative since he ran and certainly since he took office of, uh, you know, cleaning up the dysfunction and inefficiency of Albany, uh, you know, pressing on time budgets, um, mm -hmm. you know, appearing much more uh, impressively efficient than his predecessors. This gives him a chance to kind of further that storyline. But obviously the reason it hasn't happened to date is, you know, he encounters some pretty powerful um, interest groups and constituencies in resisting that. So I don't know, it'll, it'll, yeah. it'll be a lift. Andrew, some of the criticism of the governor is that he, he began to accept business as usual in Albany because the legislators are voting with him. Is there something to that? Yeah, I mean, that was the big contrast between uh, Governor Cuomo and Governor Spitzer, who came in, remember, said he was going to be a steamroller. Right, right. And uh, he, he immediately gained the, uh, you know, he made a lot of lawmakers angry by saying, you know, he was going um, to get them campaign against them, get them, uh, force, force them out. He, he, he obviously thought very poorly of them. Uh, Cuomo took a very different approach. He invited them over for, for drinks and, and breakfast and, and really sort of courted them in order to get his agenda through. Uh, and he's had, had a much better relationship with that. The downside of that is, or the flip side of that, is that it makes it much harder to go after them as being corrupt and, and trying to get them, to, trying to rein in their, their power. Right, right. Can we say if this is going to affect him in 2016 if he wants to run for president? I think if, uh, if he doesn't get a handle on this and these headlines keep coming out every six months, and you know, so a lot of these make at least some national news, then uh, I think people, people will see him as running from a place that they don't want their government to be in. Okay, all right guys, thanks again. Thank you. Thank you.